Here is a blue magma block that won't burn you. And here is a floating minecart track that will take you anywhere. And these are 34 creative Minecraft build hacks. Now here's a great way to add some much needed detail to Minecraft's beaches. Waterlogging a few stairs and adding some sandstone fences above creates a nice looking sandcastle. The best part is that this thing won't break if some annoying twerp jumps on it. <laughs> oh. Maybe I was wrong. Uh, well, sticking with the sand, here's a palm tree, but in Minecraft. By placing some dripstone spikes pointed upwards and oak leaves on top, we can create this thematic greenery. It's perfect for anyone that would want to build out in the desert. Not that anyone really wants to build out here. Now check out this floating minecart railway. Turns out that rails can be placed on trapdoors, which looks cool by itself, but can be made even cooler by flipping them downwards. This will leave your rails suspended in the air with thin support. This can also be done to angled rails, though the results are less aesthetically pleasing because it'll create this cursed looking rail that honestly shouldn't exist in the game. Uh, now there is nothing like hitting the sauna after a long mining trip to unwind and relax those muscles. By utilizing the smoke from a campfire, we can create the illusion of a sauna. I like to line the floor with strip logs or beehives personally as it creates a nice polished hardwood floor look for your build. Who would have thought to use water? Walls is, well, walls. Well, it turns out that using walls instead of full blocks in your interior is a great way to save space, as well as blocks. Plus, it adds a bit more detail to a potentially flat build. They come in a lot of great colors too. Don't like using walls as walls? Well, okay. Uh, an ordinary wall is bland, and if you're trying to impress that love interest of yours, they're probably gonna leave at the first sign of this. So instead, why not try spicing up your walls using some various shades and other blocks to give them that much needed texture? They'll probably stick around after that. That's great for the exterior, but what about the interior? Well, regular carpet is kind of boring, so why not spice up your floor decor with this zombie skin rug? He sure was a big one. If that's too much, you can just place signs below some carpet to create different patterns. Though, I think 3D definitely pops better. So, you could always throw some coral on a few slabs to get this vibrant shag carpet instead. Huh. This looks just like my grandma's house. While we're interior decorating, does your room need some green, but trees are too big and potted plants are just a little too small? Well, instead, you can easily create your own mini tree by potting a fern and placing some leaves on top. Personally, I prefer using the dead bush or mangrove propagule. I think it looks a little more natural. Focusing our attention outside, check out this straight fence. <laughs> kind of boring. This picket style fence is much more interesting to look at. If you grab yourself a debug stick, you can lower the fence and then move some buttons on top of the posts. It's real fancy. Now, here's an alternative you can make in survival. Normally, wall blocks won't create columns unless it's a corner. An easy way to get around this is to simply place string above the walls where you want a column. Great candles on iron bars can also be used to achieve a similar look. If parrots keep eating your crops, then you'll need help from this guy. The perfect addition to any farm, he's guaranteed to send those birds flying or your pumpkin back. He's got a big hat and an even bigger bigger attitude. But if you're a mole person who prefers to farm underground, with just two levers and some end rods, we can give the illusion of a sprinkler system. <laughs> Neat, but expensive and also dangerous. Maybe something more practical would be making some fluorescent lighting, perfect for an office space or your modern home. Now, two by two infinite water sources are a thing of the past, thanks to this well that will never run dry. By waterlogging some blocks like so, we can make it look like this one block space contains regenerating water. Water. Now, we have a much sleeker, but still unlimited source of water. This is a normal magma block. And here's a blue magma block. Where did it come from? Well, by placing a diamond block under a sculpt vein, we can create this cool variant of a classic. Plus, this one won't damage you. These can be a great addition to any nether theme build, as they complement soul fire perfectly. Are you tired of feeling unworthy? Well, behold, a simple way to feel like a king. With an armor stand, a few pieces of cobblestone, and a copper rod, we can can easily make a sword fit for a king. Now, if only I could pull it out! Well, if that's too over the top for you, why don't you try something more fit to display inside your house, like this katana? Pushing an end rod and some chains into armor stands, we are able to create this illusion of a katana resting on a mount. And you can add it in any direction you want to complement it. Now, this is a build that's both functional and stylish. Most people use stairs to represent chairs, but they're not all that great for actually sitting in. So, by using a minecart and some trapdoors, we can instead create a real
real sitting space. Now, if only I had a functioning TV. Guess I'll have to make one of those too. A great addition to any modern design, using a painting and some note blocks for speakers can create the illusion of a big screen. Or if you're a cheater like me, you can use structure blocks from Creative to build this better looking setup. Do you still think clocks are useless in Minecraft? Well, you might be right. However, incorporating one with a few trap doors and a copper rod, we can create a grandfather clock. While you could always just look outside, it's a functional and nice aesthetic to have. Though I do miss my grandfather. Grandpa, look out! Rest easy, G-Dog. Armor stands take up way too much space. And with 1.20, you're gonna need somewhere to store all your cool new trims. Using a piston, we can push the stands closer together to build a more efficient armor rack. Now, I just need to decide what I'm gonna wear. To go along with your new armor displays, here's a really cool way that you can show off your helmets. By dropping an armor stand into a block and adding scaffolding above, we can create this cool helmet display to show off your most precious gear. <laughs> Storing your food in a chest is so 2018. Using campfires, you should instead create a nice pantry to store all of your meats on, like this. Stylish and practical for easy cooking. And don't worry, campfires won't burn your houses down. That's why I also built this. Furnaces are great for smelting, and campfires are even better for cooking. Neither looks great for a modern kitchen though. So by dropping some hopper minecarts on campfires for smoke, we can create this modern looking stove. You get bonus points if you add in ventilation too. Safety first. For a modern kitchen, you're gonna need to make a modern table and make sure you decorate it to suit your dinner guests. Candles make a great addition as sauce bottles, but that's not all they can be used for. Combining copper rods with two candles can make for a great dinner table addition. Oh, we can finally make lanterns float thanks to these bad boys. By placing candles at any height we want and attaching a lantern to the bottom, we now have floating lanterns. Ooh. Spooky. Campfires aren't only great for fires and pantries. By placing them on top of some fence posts like so, we can create a great looking patio roof. Or you could place them over some water to build a more detailed looking bridge. Just don't ignite them or you'll end up with some crispy feet. Do you love cats? Then you need to spoil them with these. You can build up a little bed for them to sit in or create a cat playground for them to jump up on. And if for some weird reason you wanted to give them a place to go, you could even build them this litter box. Gross. Signs are cheap, and they can be used to take any build to the next level. By using them over doors or windows and adding this squared character to the corners, we can make it look like houses have been boarded up. Signs also look great wrapped around columns or pillars, and can really add some detail to that lame stack of blocks. Speaking of lame, paths and grass can be so boring. To spice it up, why don't you try mixing in some moss, green concrete powder, and green wool to texture the paths around your house. This can break up that boring old grass block texture. If you'd rather feel like you have a well-kept lawn and impress your neighbors, mix in lines of moss with your grass to make it look as though it's been mowed. Not that I'd ever mow the lawn when my parents ask. If you're really looking for something nice, try using moss and azalea bushes for a beautiful flower path. Now this should really grab the attention of your date. Cartography tables look like rotated dark oak planks. By mixing dark oak planks and cartography tables, we're able to create some nice textured walls. You can also mix these two together in your table designs to make it look like you have items built into the table. Neat. I don't know about you, but after a long day of mining and crafting, a nice shower always hits the spot. By hooking up a dispenser to some redstone, we can create our own relaxation station in Minecraft. Best part is the water is never too cold or too hot. Now, are you up for a game inside of a game? Well, by placing some signs underneath a green carpet, we can create this pool table to add detail to any hangout space. Though, I'd never play. If I did, I'd, I'd lose. I was always more of a darts person anyway. And a target block is perfect for a bullseye. Make sure not to forget the darts. Having to swim all the way down to the sea floor just to build on the water has always been a pain. So, it's great that we can instead place down a lily pad to cut out all that extra work. It's sure to save you a ton of time and a ton of blocks. Speaking of, blocks have to be placed on a grid. So how is it that these are then in between? Well, this cool illusion can be accomplished by placing stairs in just the right way so that the combined corners look like blocks. It's a great way to both confuse your friends and add more depth to a build.